Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. So today I'm going to go back to the series of having a look at the Grand Prix um, number seven, I think it was. Um, whichever one it was, this is um, one puzzle taken from that Grand Prix. Now at some point I can keep combining um, classics with more unusual variants, but I'm going to have to do a variant on its own. So while I'm on holiday, I've shot a variant on its own this time. And uh, this one is called Sum or X. And the extra rule here, you can see there is a number of uh, small digits each between two cells. And the rule is that numbers between neighbouring cells represent either the sum of those two cells or the higher number in them. Now, this sort of either or constraint, I've never seen this sort of puzzle before, so it's been, it's quite difficult to work with and we'll watch my solve and see how I go about it. Um, so here we go and this is me in action, here's the timer. So start, there's clearly three given fives and I was wondering if that helps. And in fact, with this five, it's very useful because that can't be a five representing the higher digit. So it must be a pair making up the sum of five. And we've already got a three in the row. So that's one and four. Now, the next thing to note is that with this three here, the first cell there can't be a four because that couldn't be either in a sum or the half, or allow one of those to be higher than the other. So that sorts out which way around one and four go because four is half of eight. This cell can only be an eight. And again, we can put, now I've made a mistake up here. This is worth seeing. First of all, I thought that with two sevens in the same box, that obviously they can't both be pairs adding up to seven. So I thought maybe it must be that it's seven is the intersection. And in both cases, seven is the higher number. But then I suddenly realized that doesn't necessarily work, thank God. Um, because one of them could be a pair with a seven as a higher number, while the other one was a pair that adds up to seven. Now, obviously, the reason it can't be two pairs that add up to seven is they share a digit. So the other cells in both cases would have to be the same. Now, I should actually have been able to work out that since it can't be two pairs, there must be a seven. Oh, yeah, no, I'm right. This, this could be a seven or a one with that being a seven. Um, so now I'm filling in the possibilities. Three is a very limiting possibility. As we saw down here, it can only be either one and two, one and three, or two and three. So the digit possibilities are only one, two, or three. And the, the uh, pencil marks I'm filling in are all the possibles. Here again, four here can't be three and one because there's a three in the same column. So it must be a four with either a one or a two. Now on this cell, that works quite well, I think. It limits it to either a six with a one to make the sum of seven, or else it's gonna to have to be a seven. Can't be a five, oh no, it could be a three. In fact, I've decided it is a three there. Um, yes, because neither of these did, neither of these cells can have a seven in, or that, that four or that five wouldn't work. They would be too high. So it has to be a sum. Um, and in fact, it has to be three, four. Four is operating in those two somewhere. So it has to be three, four. And that's enabling quite a lot of work over here. So you may well have gone through exactly these same possibilities. Now, once you've put in a couple of pairs, they all become much more straightforward once you get numbers going into the opposite boxes. And uh, that's a very useful way to go about this. I think the only set of numbers I haven't really approached is this seven and nine down here. And they turn out to be quite well limited as well. With a one, two, three there, this could be any of five or the pair to make up a sum of five. So any of two, three, four or five. But this seven and nine here, they are quite limited now. It can't be six, one as a pair making up the seven and it can't be three, four because they're both in row eight. So it couldn't be a three, four or a six, one and it can't be two, five because there's a five in the box. So this must mean that seven is the higher of those two digits. 
Now that doesn't immediately limit where it goes because this is 9, 7, but this can't be a 9 because of the 9 in the same column. And if this was a 7, this would either have to be a 9 or a 2. And there's a 2 in the same column as well. So in fact, this cell in the bottom corner, I haven't worked it out yet when I was solving live, but it can't be a 7. So this cell must be a 7. I've got it now. This one, I think the only possibilities left at this point for this to be a 9 pair are 1 and 3, and this could be 6 or 8. We can't quite finish those off, but it sorts out the 1, 7 pair that was left in the box on the right. And I'm only four and a half minutes in for a puzzle that should take, I think it's somewhere around nine minutes given the points value. So this is going quite well. This cell down here can't be seven or eight and given the other numbers in the column, it must be one. Can't remember, oh, one must be in one of those two cells. Um, ah, yes, and the, the fact that we got the three in the corner has limited these two remaining ones. Again, the possibilities that we'd limited these cells to are now reducing significantly. And that 7 actually sorts out this 7-8 pair that I'd just put in happily. So as soon as I spot that, I can deal with it. There was a revealed single there. 2-6 uh, pair along the rest of row 4. And now it's really just a case of spotting what has been revealed by the work done already. Um, that 4-8 pair is for the column rather than for the box, which would be my more normal notation. But I think this whole bottom box can now be completed. Yes, that resolves the 6-2 pair that I've just filled in. If we take 3 out of the possibilities for that pair, which also can't have a 5 in, so they must be a sum, we're left with 4 and 1. Um, and I think the rest of the middle section can now all be resolved virtually. So apart from this pair here of six, eight, yeah, finally spotted that eight, seven being resolved. Now I think the limitations on this pair from the columns they're in are significant and helpful. Um, still can't quite finish off that cell. This one we can take the one and two out of because they're now in the row. Um, I think this is a single now, a naked single. Five, two, nine, eight, four, seven. Yes, we can finish off the rest of this box. That five has removed one of the possibilities there. We're very nearly done with the uh, constraint cells, and it's now solving pretty much like a regular Sudoku at this point. Um, and most of the boxes are filled, so it's really just a case of finishing off should be somewhere near seven and a half minutes, which is a great time. I'm, I'm really quite pleased with that. I haven't had a, a brilliant time with this set of puzzles. So this is quite a pleasant one to have uh, come along in this solving order. Um, don't quite know why I chose it. I thought I was choosing the last puzzle in the set, but it's actually the penultimate one. But there we go. We're finishing off in around, as I say, seven and a half minutes. So happy enough with that. A uh, quick check on the solution, and it is right. So that's all good. Um, and I hope you had a go at the puzzle. Certainly, as usual, when we put a puzzle into our software, I've provided the um, link to where you can solve it in our software. Um, and that, and also on that link is the, the rule. As I say, this was an unusual variant. I've never seen one of this style before, so took some thinking about, um, but unsurprisingly, given that it's a kind of debut for the variant style, or certainly an early version of it, uh, some of the numbers provided were very helpful, and certainly spotting this five in the same column as a five, this pair of sevens up here were useful stages in the process. Um, do subscribe to the channel if you like the content and feel free of course to sponsor us on patreon for some extra content as well there um, look for cracking the cryptic on patreon and thank you very much for watching hope to see you again on cracking the cryptic goodbye from my holiday